All right, I'm just gonna do a quick E uh, to show how I put my polycrylic on a completed canvas. I always wear gloves because you're gonna need your fingers to move it around. Uh, I always just stir with a stick. Don't shake this or it'll get tons of bubbles. And then I just pour it straight from the can because I always get a quart size. Sometimes I pour it into a cup, which is also useful, but uh, for now, I'll just, I just pour it directly on. I don't use a brush because then you get brush strokes and it's, it's thin enough to just kind of tilt like paint. So I use this on, it's kind of my, my top end um, finish. I don't use resin. This dries nice and clear. So I always put it on a puppy pad because it's, it's thick um, and sticky. And on the sides, I just kind of run it over the edge with my finger. Um, so that's got a nice coat. Always get your corners. And then I'm gonna turn it. This is just a 10 by 20. I've done this on, um, I think the biggest one I put polyacrylic on is 24 by 18, just a little harder to like manipulate. I just, the, the uh, edges aren't going to be as nice and thick, obviously, but at least I can get them smooth. This corner needs a little more. So I definitely waste a ton of this. Um, you can't really pick up a lot of it off the... Maybe if you had a really clean plastic surface, you could scrape it up, but I would just be afraid of getting um, old paint or dust in it. So I just, I just let it go and I charge more for the paintings that have this on it and I see that didn't go over kind of like how with paint you can touch the edge because the corners or the edges are always a little duller because the canvas sinks towards the middle so how does that look Just run my finger over it, and I guess since this is like a clean, I guess if you scrape it off the side, at the floor, at the table, it's gonna be bubbly, more bubbly. So, say picking it up with your sticks, a good way to get just a little bit on the corners, and moving it around I'd say this will dry I let this dry um, a few days to be not tacky anymore like one day I'll be like dry to the touch three days after three days I'll probably take the painters tape off the back and call it good and yeah but don't torch this do not torch polyacrylic, it is flammable. <laughs> so I just try not to get bubbles. And uh, if there's any big ones, you could probably pop it with a toothpick or a skewer. I must be in futsy on this. I think it's probably good enough. Ooh, I, I didn't put tacks on the skinny ends. You can see there's a bubble at the very end, but I think it's okay. All right. I think that's good enough for me. I don't see any. Looks pretty even. None's moving around. No major drips. Alrighty.